Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this walkthrough video, I'm gonna take you through your first day with Algorithms DJ Pro. Now, DJ Pro is DJ software for your Mac, but what sets it apart from Tractor and Serato and even Virtual DJ is that it's got Spotify integration built in, meaning you can play songs off of iTunes from your local hard drive or song streaming from Spotify, giving you the world's largest, deepest, most gigantic, most extensive DJ library ever. I'm kind of exaggerating, but yes, there are millions and millions and millions of songs in the Spotify catalog and it's growing by the day as long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection or 4G and LTE something that was unprecedented until, well, this came around. Now in this video, we're gonna do two things. Number one, we're gonna download and install DJ Pro on your Mac. And next, we're gonna try to play a few songs off of Spotify as well as from your local iTunes library. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download DJ Pro from the Algorithm website. So all you gotta do is head on over to algorithm.com. And once you're there, click on the DJ tab over here. Wait for it to load and then scroll down and click on DJ Pro for your Mac. Again, this is a Mac only application. It only runs on OS X, so if you're on a PC, you're out of luck. Let me say that again. This only works on a Mac. Okay, so now that we're here at the DJ Pro site, let's just scroll down and click on download trial. If you wanna buy it, go ahead and click on this one that says Mac App Store. However, if you just wanna try it out first before committing to an amount, you just go ahead and click on download trial over here. And you'll be brought to this screen, the download screen, and scroll down and click on the download button over here. So just left click and wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, so while that's downloading, why don't we take a look at the compatible hardware that you can use with DJ Pro. Scroll back up and click on the hardware tab here at the top of the page. Once it loads, just scroll down to the very bottom of the page, part where it says, here you go, all natively supported MIDI controllers. And you can find a full list of all of the devices that plug and play with your computer when using DJ Pro. These include the XDJ1000 from Pioneer or the CDJ2000 Nexus, Club Standards, DDJ SB, DDJ We Go 3, which was just uh, recently released at the time of this recording. You've also got the Reloop stuff here, the Beat Pad, Terminal Mix 2 and 4, as well as the Beat Mix, and also some Newmark devices, some Vestax ones, and some Hercules controllers. Now, if you don't find your controller in this list and you still wanna use it with DJ Pro, well, then you can still use the MIDI Learn feature of DJ Pro in order to assign the controls that you wanna use with the software. To learn how to do that, just click on this uh, link over here and follow the tutorial and see how to make it work. This is gonna go beyond the scope of this tutorial. So if, you're gonna, if you wanna go this route, I suggest that you do the reading on your own and you do the mapping by yourself. Okay, now that our download's done, let's head on over to Finder and go to our downloads folder and double click on DJ Pro 1.1.2. Wait for it to finish extracting. Left click on the DJ Pro icon and drag it to your applications folder. So just scroll down to the DJ Pro icon, double click it to launch the installer, and then just follow the prompts. Yes, 15 days until the demo expires, so go ahead and demo it. And you'll see the DJ Pro interface for the very, very first time. If you've got an interface connected like I have, I've got my NI Complete Audio 6 connected to my iMac. Well, it's gonna ask you to configure it, so just go ahead and click on the prompts. All right, now that we've launched DJ Pro for the first time, let's have a quick overview of the interface. Over here at the top half, you've got your two decks, deck one and deck two, along with your volume faders, your three band EQ, high, mid, and low. You got your crossfader here at the bottom, as well as your filter knobs and your headphone cueing. You've got your transport controls over here, as well as your tempo sliders. Now, over here at the bottom, you've got the space where you can choose your music, either from iTunes. You've got all your playlists in here, which you can just uh, drag and drop. Yeah, very nice. For that one, you can do that. Or you can also load songs from Spotify. All you gotta do is log into your Spotify account. If you have one, you can 
find all your Spotify playlists over here. That's the ones that I've made before. Embarrassing songs and like and all that stuff. And the cool thing is, of course, you can play them straight from Spotify, which is super cool. Yeah. And all that stuff. Aside from that, you can also load videos if you got movies on your hard drive that you want to use while DJing. Well, you can now mix movies. All you got to do is click on this playback monitor icon over here. And you can VJ. Uh, if you've never tried VJing, this is a great place to start because DJ Pro comes stock with some really cool uh, video loops that you can use straight off the bat. Yeah, all that stuff. And you've got your history here, which, it, which shows you all the songs that you just played. Of course, I just played these five songs, both from my hard drive and from Spotify. And lastly, you can also specify a folder on your Mac's hard drive, which you want to get songs from. So this is what we're going to do. Um, again, these are the songs that I downloaded from Beatport. I'm just going to drag them over here to this window. And it's going to show up inside DJ Pro. So now you've got all of these. Let's just go back to our main interface. Add that one there. And you got this one here. And there you go. So now you have your music files inside DJ Pro. Ideally, you're using iTunes in order to organize all your songs because DJ Pro itself doesn't really have a way to create playlists. Although you can drag and drop folders from your Mac's hard drive onto DJ Pro, the best thing to do still is to use iTunes to make all of the playlists that you're going to use for DJing. And of course, uh, if you're going to play music from Spotify, you can make playlists on Spotify itself and have them all conveniently located within the DJ Pro library that you can search. Now the cool thing about integrating a service like Spotify which has a streaming library and iTunes which contains your local library which means a song stored in your hard drive is that you can use the match service over here to look for songs that more or less go well with what you're currently playing or what you've already played. So let's say you've got this song here. What Match will do is it'll look for some recommended songs locally. So it's got 22 songs over here. These are the ones that I have in my iTunes library. Of course, if I have got more songs here, uh, it'll show up more matches. But right now, these are the only ones I have. And if you go over to Spotify, it's going to scour the entire Spotify catalog for tracks that you can play alongside this one, which is a track that I currently have on my Mac. So let's say... I want to play this one. I just loaded to the other deck. And now I'm playing songs from my iTunes library and something from Spotify. So, of course, I'm not mixing right now, so sorry about that. But I just wanted to show you that, you know, it's super cool because that means you've got two places to get your music from. One, from your local hard drive, again, and two, from Spotify, which has millions of songs and it's growing by the day so I think this is super cool if you're gonna be using this feature to DJ uh, at a club or something make sure that you've got a very very fast Wi-Fi connection or at least you've got 4G or LTE plan tethered to a phone or something like that just so you can make sure that the songs actually load although I've tried this already at a live setting and I didn't really have a problem except for one time when I had really crappy signal and of course the songs didn't load so I had to rely on what I had on my hard drive. All right, so that's it for a talk through video of your first day with Algorithms DJ Pro. If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up icon and hit the subscribe button below if you aren't a DJ subscriber yet. The full tutorial is over at digitaldjtips.com. If you want to read it, the link is in the description box below. My name is Joey. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.